smiling, trying to satisfy the needs of your customer. A luxury is um, comfort, is um, opulence. Luxury is achieved immediately. You're able to do things, go do things beyond people's expectation. That's luxury. And now Nigeria is not an easy environment to do business in. What advice do you have to other young entrepreneurs um, that are looking to do something risky like you did? Um, something that is very important um, for young entrepreneurs is to know that there's no nobility in poverty. Uh, that uh, if you if you're ready to make business to win in Nigeria's today's economy, you have to have the spirit of dedication. You have to be ready to have the spirit of winning. You have to have that that incredible character of leadership because people have stopped following lazy, um, uh, you know, complaining kind of leaders. They want leaders with inspiration, people that know where they're going. So you have to be able to lead to be followed. To be followed. So that is, those are the fundamental characteristics. And beyond all, the foundation of success in Nigeria is about integrity. You have to have integrity of person, integrity of product, integrity of association, integrity even in what you promise. So integrity goes a long way. You're, I mean, if you didn't have integrity as a company, business day, I believe that you would be selling newspapers. So the reason why people read your newspaper is the integrity of information, the quality of it. So integrity is the foundation of everything and to succeed in your business. Great. And then finally, what's the best advice you've ever received? Best leadership advice? I mean, I've received a lot of leadership advices, but the best one is, um, you know, uh, there are two types of currency in this world. There is a currency of the banking industry and there is a currency of integrity. The currency of integrity, I keep repeating, would lead you and take you to places beyond your imagination. But what drives you to um, achieve success in such a complex environment? Okay, so um, for us, it's basically innovation and excellence. Um, we just don't want to do things the way it's done, so we, we, we go um, the extra mile to make sure that whatever we're putting, putting out there is true, thorough details, and then it comes out, you know, more better than what it's meant to be, basically. So that's... Fantastic. And what's been the best leadership advice you have received? Okay, so for us, it's more like go the extra mile. Basically. Go the extra mile because it pays more. It pays more for you to go the extra mile. So that's it. And then finally, what differentiates Landway from its competitors? Um, excellence. I would say excellence is what differentiates us from the rest of the company. It has really worked for us and then we will strive more to make sure that we really hit out on excellence to make sure that you yeah, come up and you know what we do. Fantastic. And do you want to thank anyone who's contributed to your success today? Yes. Um, this award we are dedicating to all the humans of Landway. Um, all staff, every staff represented in Landway, we are dedicating this award today because without them, we might not be able to get this award. Yet. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. Well, uh, people ask me what next. In Nigeria, you just keep going. There's always the next thing. Um, I still believe I'm very highly underachieved, and uh, I have very good, good health. My vision going forward is to find people like me, young, young, young people like me, get associated with them, learn from them, and then I can impact them. All over Nigeria, surprisingly, it is just that they have to be given the right chance to prove themselves. You are one of them. I think uh, uh, what's most important is the uh, uh, transparency, uh, the focus, uh, and the, the uh, strategic leadership helps you to get to that uh, transformation that you want. And I think we have applied that uh, to a large extent uh, in NCDMV uh, to get uh, the transformational change that we desire. And again, is also ensuring that you take the entire organization along in any change you want to bring about. So that has been the secret. Great, and just to follow up, what advice do you have for young leaders who are pushing for transformation and uh, facing resistance? What, how, what helped you? I think they, they need to remain focused uh, because bringing about change is not easy. Uh, there are lots of resistance that you face, uh, but a lot of young people that I see give up too early. You have to remain focused, you have to persevere, and you have to be consistent in your approach to transformation. Okay, and finally, I'm going to sneak in one last question. 
Um, if you could share this award with anyone, who would it be? My wife. I will share it with her because she's been there for me. I'm always on the move, uh, but she's keeping the home front. So for any success, she has been the greatest contributor to that success. I just wanted to talk a little bit about, you know, who you would share this interview, uh, this uh, award with, if you had to pick somebody. Seriously, I have the most amazing team ever. So I really haven't done this by myself. So this is for me and my team. We did it together. It's great team effort. So I'm really grateful to share this with them. And how do you think they would describe you as a leader? Oh my God. Mm. In every way, all these things are we fight hard, we work hard, and we play hard. So everything we do is hard, and that's what has gotten us to where we are today. So, yes. Great. And just finally, what are your motivations every day waking up, working on such an incredible plan that you know helps women feel their most beautiful? Really, it's to create an impact. I just want to do something global from Nigeria. So I always say, Zaron is a global brand made by the woman of color for the woman of color. Fantastic. That's a great way to end this. Thank you so much for joining me. After a long period of work. Congratulations on your award tonight on excellence in, luxury, uh, in um, hotels and tourism. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what drives you in that space? The what drives us is the uniqueness of the environment, the space, the facility that we have, and the fact that you can just hide away from the ozos of Lagos. Abuja and Port Accord and you can just have a rest there that you will have serious time to, to, to relax and, and have the rejuvenation of that you will need after a long period of work.